Hey yo, what up everyone? Today I got another weapon guys for you guys. This time we are taking a dive into the in my opinion most underrated secondary in Hunt Showdown. I am talking about the hand crossbow. It one shots up to 19 to 20 meters to the chest. Its bolt is reusable. It comes with tons of utility in the form of special ammo and can be a clutch weapon to have when playing rifles aggressively or when you really need that one tap when getting pushed. Also, the hand crossbow is amazing at dealing with AI in any form. You can see here, even getting rid of crows, we all know it. sometimes you have to run through an area, tons of crows on the field and you can just take the poison ammo to get rid of them. Or like you see here, you can even one tap emulators from a fairly safe distance. You know, sometimes you just need that. And on top of that, the hand crossbow is even amazing at killing bosses. Like here in the tutorial, I'm killing the spider with normal bolts. But especially against every other boss, the poison bolts are amazing. For example, against the Butcher, Scrap Peak or Assassin, it's great utility to have. And like here, even against the Spider, I use normal bolts. I just keep on shooting here and at the end I can basically drop it from like 50% to zero within like a few seconds. By pulling out every single bolt I've hit already, which deals damage on top of that. Now we're gonna take a look at Boat Thrower first. No boat thrower, you know, the reloading is fairly slow. Kinda expected, right? Now we're gonna swap over to boat thrower. I'm gonna show you guys real quick what it does again. Boat thrower costs 3 points. Reduces the, re uh, reduces the reload time on the crossbow. I can see a very effective, especially in close distance. The extra one second or something you gain here is very clutch. Now we go into the shooting range. I'm gonna show you guys real quick what all the ammo types do. It's honestly fairly simple. I got all the ammo types equipped like you can see here. The hand crossbow, basically just a tiny shotgun with like up to 19 meter one tap range like you will see here. You go at 19 meters and if you hit the hunter in the chest, they die. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I can see here again, 19 meters, 148 instantly bleeds out. Quite simple. Don't think I really have to explain it. Very good secondary, by the way, especially when you play rifles. Then the next ammo type is poison ammo. Pretty good. I can see here, even if you hit the target directly, they basically die if they don't move. So you can do that. But what it's even better, at, like you can see here, it leaves a clo uh, poison cloud behind which deals tons of damage. It's insanely good at like blocking entrances, holding bodies, all the cool stuff, especially as a solo player, you know, sometimes you just want to make sure that somebody doesn't get revived and you do not have a burn. Just poison crossbow them. Then we do have choke bolts. Choke bolts are like very useful. If you like want to save up on tool slots, you know, maybe you want to bring some concertina trip mines or whatever and don't want to be a bad teammate, then you can just shoot a choke bolt. It doesn't really deal damage, it deals one damage, like you can see here. Boom, 10 on impact, but basically you can just replace your choke bolts with that. For example, run 50-50, normal bolt, choke bolt, and then, you know, use your choke bomb slot for like a different tool that you would prefer to bring. Then, Last and definitely least, pun intended, we have the Chaos Bolts. In my opinion, they are fairly useless. Good players will be able to tell that it is the Chaos, even though those are like much more convincing, but like you can see here, you just shoot them and then, you know, they do the classic Chaos noise. You know, just random gunshots wherever you like shoot the Chaos Bolt. Might be good for memeing, but I cannot recommend bringing those. Like you can see here as well, they basically don't deal any damage. 35. Like. Pretty useless. My preferred loadout or like combination on special ammo is definitely the normal bolt and the hand poison bolt or like the poison bolt in general. Like you can see here, for example. Let's take this target. Ah, oh, he was dead already. One second, we will do that again. But. You can see here, that's just 60 meters. 
He shoots him in the chest. They die. It's insanely strong. And then obviously, again, the poison bolt. You know, after you kill your target, just drop some poison and cover the body. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys real quick how good the hand poison crossbow actually is at getting bosses, like I said earlier, not just the normal bolts, especially the hand poison bolts or hand poison crossbow is really strong. I would recommend bringing an antidote, you don't have to, I usually don't, but it's definitely safer. But you can see here, it deals an insane amount of damage, and you can just kill the boss passively if you wanted to. And like you see here, I hit Scrappy, he starts raging, he stands inside the poison and I basically took like a full chunk off him without even risking to like take any damage by the boss itself. Also like you saw here, you can easily run through the antidote. If, eh, through the poison cloud if you don't have an antidote. You know sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do and it's not that dangerous. But let's jump to some actual gameplay. This one here is a great example how strong and close boys at close quarter combat, especially when you just need that one fight. The enemy team is pushing me here. I get a nice body tip on the blue shirt, purple shirt. Try to finish him off with the hand poison bolt here. That works sometimes when they hide behind cover because people don't expect getting like damage through structures. Didn't work out here and the whole enemy bounty team is basically right on top of me. I decide to take the high ground here because it's my best bet to isolate engagement since they can't push me that easily. And here, swoop, body tap with the hand crossbow, instantly turns the fight into a 1v2 instead of a 1v3. With the Mosin that would have been a much harder shot, but since I do have the hand crossbow, I can make use of it. Also here, poison bolts, poisoning the ladder so I can only get pushed from one side here. Get a little bit lucky here, catch the Ronin of guard, light foot jump to the left. Get another body tap here with the hand crossbow. Again, would have been a much harder shot with the Mosin. End up reloading and trading with the last person on the enemy team. And we took out a Mosin Nitro Expo crossbow team with three hand crossbow body taps. Honestly, I'm... maybe I could have gotten that with the Mosin as well. But it would have been much harder to pull that one off. I think this is a great example how good this like ace up your sleeve can be to just have the, that body tap available to you. In the next clip, I banish the boss on lock bay. I'm getting attacked by a full on team. I'm gonna show you guys why hand poison bolts are pretty good. Like you see here, I kill the lonely howl. I hear that the teammates are around. Now I'm gonna swap over to the poison bolt and just shoot the body so they can't necro or like quietly revive here. Especially as a solo player, again, it's so useful. You don't have teammates already, so, you know, every little help that you can get, might as well use it, right? So I will end up choke bombing here, like you see, but it doesn't matter. At least I will get an audio notification now when they go for the revive or if they revive. And also, like you see here, you can shoot poison bolts through a choke bomb. They don't explode in the choke bomb, like the poison will fade away. But you can shoot the projectile through it, like there, I shot the fence behind it, just in case I go for a sneaky revive. Now I try to push here, try to make a play happen. I know it's only two players alive, but they are falling back, trying to play for the revive. I'm just going to continue applying pressure here to keep it in a 1v2. I'll just start pushing, get a nice headshot here, to be completely honest. Now I spot the last enemy at the shoreline, quick up to my hand crossbow and he's bleeding, can't do anything. Pretty useful, if I would have tapped him there with the Mosin with the body tap, he could have just like, you know, continued pushing me, but since I hit him with the hand crossbow, he is bleeding, he has to stop the bleeding. And overall, like even if you don't kill like you saw there, you can just like finish enemies with a body tap. Here's another great example why the hand crossbow is so good and can really save your ass in certain situations. I was talking to my chat a little bit distracted and suddenly I hear a team running up on me. So instead of going for the rifle headshot, I just play sneaky and 
Take the first person out with a little hand crossbow buddy tap here. Now I fall back and instantly in a 1v2 instead of a 1v3. Start throwing my consumable. Try to apply some pressure, try to like kinda save my position here, stop them from running me down. Miss a bunch of Vitality shots sadly. And will end up getting pressured here with a buddy tap. I have to fall into cover to heal. Sadly I do not have the time to do that, so I swap out of my hand crossbow again. Hit my enemy here and just apply pressure and he has to stop the bleeding now, no? He can't continue pushing even though he knows I'm a one tap. Either I had to stop the bleeding there to not die. And I could have like pushed him or like you saw there, I just like jump around, stop the bleeding and on the second player he pushes me as well. And I get another nice body tap. And almost like most secondaries while playing rifle, you couldn't do that. Meanwhile, here I play Vitaly with a hand crossbow and it works out just perfectly. In the next clip I'm gonna show you guys how much confidence you can, or how confident you can play when you have a rifle with a hand crossbow. I'm third partying a fight here in Fort, the boss is vanishing. Just so you guys get an idea what's going on. But I'm basically just trying to like push it with my rifle. I get like a really nice headshot here on the witch hunter, which allows me to enter the fort and I immediately start pushing the building. Even though I do have a rifle. Which is something most rifle players do not do. Here I get caught off guard while climbing the ladder. Get peeked from the roof. Very unfortunate, but you know, with like good movement here. We managed to get into safety. Heal up real quick. Even find a medkit, kinda lucky, to be completely honest. And then, I'm starting to continue my push here. Waiting if like, you know, the top person is gonna re-peek. They don't. I go inside the other layer. Start climbing the ladder. Since I do not hear anyone close by, I know I can make the ladder climb before they reach the top part to contest me. From here on out, I'm just trying to like bait the top player to like push me. Here I'm just throwing a sticky bomb to make them move, thinking I'm gonna like use that to push. Climbing the ladder, baiting a little bit with the ladder noise, hoping they will, you know, run me down so I can get a one tap here. That is, I don't, but even though not much is happening, or like it's something is happening, but like not what I wanted to happen, you can see how confident I can play because I know if things get, you know, a little bit risky here, I can rely on my hand crossbow to one tap. I'm basically playing a rifle with a shotgun that can one tap up to like 19 meters. Here, here, above me, I just peek the ladder and slunk. My plan worked, what I wanted to do before. I get the easy kill here. I'm gonna continue climbing here. We do it with my hand crossbow and just continue the push here. I'm not even using my rifle at this point. I hear them close by. They do have dual wielding, which is scary, but since I can one-tap them, I'm not that afraid of it. With the rifle, this push would have been borderline impossible. I would have had to hit like insane headshots. Meanwhile, simply due to me bringing the hand crossbow, I can technically easily push the enemy team. In the next clip, I will show you guys another example for like how confident you can play when playing hand crossbow. This time we combine it with the Mosin. I banished the boss, picked up the bounty and saw a team over there in the forest. I instantly start contesting here with the Mosin at range. Trying to get an entry pick here. Get the initial headshot here, which is always you know, the best outcome. See that the other two players are fairly far back. So I'm gonna use that time, the distance or like the space they're giving me to push up close. I do have a hand crossbow, so I'm not scared of taking like 10, 50 meter engagements. I try to contest the buddy here. See one of the teammates. Just trying to figure out like what is going on. Turn around, get an insane Mosen headshot here. Now I'm in a 1v1. And I just continue pushing here. I don't really care what loadouts I have. Usually I would be like, oh, shot at me with a pistol, probably as a shotgun, I have to respect it with a Mosin. But now that I do have a hand crossbow, I can just confidently like play close range and if they end up pushing me, I can just pull up my hand crossbow. Here we get a re-kill on the revive. They played that really well, but I killed their teammates. They instantly knew I was on the other side of the mount. Now we are back in a 1v1 here. 
and was playing like fairly close range here for a rifle. I could play that completely differently and probably would if I didn't have the hand crossbow on me. I know that the last person has a shotgun but I'm not that afraid of her. I just don't want to peek into her. Here she tags me. Doesn't mean peek I was holding the corner. Sometimes it's better to hold the angle because if I would have healed here immediately she could have just ran me down and I would have died anyways. Might as well hold the angle. Now I hear her cooking a nade but since I have a hand crossbow I don't really care, I'm just gonna continue pushing here and get the one tap. I probably could have gotten that kill here overall just by playing Mosin only, but just having that hand crossbow in the back gave me the confidence to just play super hyper aggressive here, which if I had like Mosin uppercut I probably would have played it from the compound. Even though you don't need it, sometimes just having it will help you a lot. Especially with the 1.13 ammo rework, the hand crossbow is something you really want to consider in your rifle loadouts in my opinion. In the last clip I'm arriving at Wolf's Head, the boss is here. Preparing some traps here, but I will show you guys how good the combination of hand crossbow and poison bolt works here. Again I hear footsteps really close by. I instantly pull out my hand crossbow to get like a sneaky ambush here. Scrap is hella loud so they don't hear me yet. Whoop. Get my first kill here. Would have been really hard to get that one with the Mosin since it were mid air. Meanwhile, with the hand crossbow just a buddy dead. Get a little bit unlucky here that I hit her in the arm. But it doesn't matter, they take me, I take them, they're bleeding, they cannot push me, I can just like continue healing here. Now I'm checking if they're close by. I don't know where they went to be completely honest. So I'm just gonna play this safe here. And run around with my hand crossbow in case they suddenly pop out of a corner, but honestly I was really unsure where they are. I kinda lost track of them. I'm assuming they went outside the wall to like heal up, since they were bleeding. So right now I'm just deciding to go do the boss. I have a sticky bomb, I have a hand crossbow. So I'm just gonna like apply pressure by like doing the objective and denying them from getting the boss back. Here we go into the lair, start poison bolting, grappling, put the sticky bomb on him, reload my poison bolt, shoot another one, finish the grunts. And now I'm gonna, gonna continue like trying to find out where the other players are. Like you can see here, the hand poison bolt does great work off Scrappy here. He's gonna come back here in a second and basically just kill himself in the poison clones. Like I said earlier, like hand poison bolts are so strong at taking care of bosses. While I was killing the boss, they seemingly revived. Which was something I kinda expected. Sadly I couldn't stop them from doing so. And I didn't wanna like, you know, step on a landmine gamer. We just reset the fight here. I'm peeking the door. I see the white shirt on the roof. Get the body tap on him. He was down about already. But the important part here is I'm gonna show you guys how we can like efficiently use poison bolts to like, apply pressure on your enemy even without hitting them. Here gets the body tap on the green shirt female hunter again. I know she's gonna go to heal in the building. I don't know. I don't really wanna push them here, so I just start like spamming the building with poison bolts and basically make the building as annoying to play as possible. She has to pay a lot of attention to like where she's going. Meanwhile, I can just start rotating and try to contest the body again. Now I'm just holding the white shirt in case she goes for a revive. There she goes. Sadly I missed my shot and I don't realize I have no bullets in this chamber. I think that would have been a bunny hit, but doesn't matter. So I'm just using poison bolts here to like poison the white shirt so she doesn't go for a revive. She started choke bombing the bolts, but now I know where she is. Even if she goes for the revive, I can hear it. At this point I'm fairly sure it's just a duo, even though I'm playing solo with the trios. So I'm turning up the aggression even more here.
I wasn't 100% sure where she was, to be completely honest. She was like fairly silent. So I didn't want to push and get like knifed or like shotgunned. I use my scan here, I see that she's in the bottom floor of the building. So I start rotating around, get like a good angle here. And try to like get a pick. I hear her cuffing, so I know she's going for the revive, so I'm just starting to push here. Again, even though the hand crossbow didn't deny the revive, it gave me all the information needed. She starts pushing me off the roof after the revive. I can just turn around and, again, abuse the insane one tap here. I think that was a great example how much utility the hand crossbow, especially with the 50 50 split, can give you. I hope you guys enjoyed this little guide, this little highlight. And I hope I can convince you to like give the hand crossbow with 1.13 a chance.